What's up guys, today we're going to be going over this distorted ghost warp effect. The result is insane, so just sit back, relax, and learn something new today. Before we start, I need to put you onto my brand new editing pack, Light Source Overlays. It consists of over 40 insane overlays, like film burns, light leaks, and flash transitions that's meant to give you those clean cinematic and grungy transitions. I love using these because there's no wrong context to use them. I even use them on my videos all the time. So if you guys want to invest in your editing workflow and get light source overlays, I have an exclusive offer for you guys. It'll be down below. So make sure to check it out. Now let's get straight into the video. So today we're going to be replicating this effect from Molly Santana's new music video, Chain Swinging, something like this. And we're actually going to make it into something even more saucy. As you can see, I kind of did it in my own sauce. It's really like a colorful ghost warp effect. So to start off, we're going to do command D on that layer. And the first effect we're going to apply is optics compensation and apply it to our top layer. And then we're going to make reverse lens distortion. We're going to keyframe at the beginning the field of view. And then we're going to go in the middle of the clip, something like this. And then we're going to raise this effect right here. Something like this should be good. 140. And let's make the orientation vertical. Could put it to a bit less than that. And then we're going to do alt click on the view center and we're going to write wiggle parenthesis to 400 so that way it's gonna add a bit of movement just like this now as you can see the effect is a bit too strong so we're gonna go back to that make it a bit less yeah something like that should be fine and then let's see what we have and then we're just gonna ease this keyframe right here press F9. We're also going to change the blending mode to screen. Now, as you can see, we're already kind of getting the effect, but nowhere near as what we'll actually get at the end. So then afterwards, we're going to apply turbulent displace to our top layer. Let's increase it to some like 140. Let's go to the beginning. Also, we can increase the scale by something like 120. Now let's do alt click on the evolution and let's type time 300. This is gonna animate a turbulent displace kind of motion. And now we're gonna press T to go into the opacity settings. We're gonna do alt click on the stopwatch right here and we're gonna type wiggle seven comma and 50. So that means seven times per second, the opacity is going to vary by 50%. So it's going to appear and disappear a little. We kind of get that flicker kind of effect. And then I'm going to apply a flicker effect. I'm going to use Sapphire flicker, put it onto our layer. We're going to increase the amplitude, increase the wave frequency and increase the randomized frequency as well. Now let's see. I think I'm going to increase a bit the amount of turbulent there we go that looks much better now and now we're gonna apply cc toner because we're gonna make the image red and let's make the mid-tones red we can actually make it a bit less dark something like this and then we're gonna apply a glow effect i'm gonna use universe glow but there's also a D glow and the default plugins i just prefer this one something like that is good so now we get this really cool effect right here it literally looks insane so now we get this really cool distorted effect right here. And now, and now one thing that will really spice up the edit, it's like a little detail, but it's really going to make the whole difference at specific times. Let's say like this, we're going to apply a Gaussian blur effect and we're going to keyframe those. So at certain times, we're really going to see the ghost more. That'll be very cool. So I'll keyframe the blurriness. And then a bit later, we're going to blur the bottom layer out. So now, as you can see, we see more of the trail and then let's go a bit further, put it back to zero. And then at the end, actually right here, we can put it back to blurry. Now let's see. And I'm going to create a new adjustment layer and I'm just going to add some more flicker to the scene. Now here's our final result. So that was it for today. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please consider subscribing and please let me know in the comments what type of tutorials you would like me to cover next. Once again, if you guys want to invest in your editing skills and get our light source pack, it'll be available in the description with a special offer. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Peace.